Hello, in this video we will be looking at how to represent binary fractions using um, fixed point methods. So we'll look at um, a type of binary representation called fixed point. So uh, when we write a, a decimal number like 1.234 um, as a decimal fraction that has a decimal point, basically what we mean is that there's one unit plus two tenths plus three hundredths plus four thousandths. So if you have a look in this table here, we've got thousandths, hundreds, tenths, and units or ones. And then we have the decimal decimal point there. And then we have one over 10, one over 100, and one over a thousand. So basically the number 1.234 is one unit plus one tenth, uh, sorry, plus uh, two tenths, plus three hundredths, plus four thousandths. And so we can use that same principle for binary numbers, except with the use of a binary point. So in each decimal place, um, so on the right hand side of the binary point, for each decimal place, we divide by two um, moving from left to right. So we keep dividing by two moving from left to right. So we have on the left hand side of the binary point, we have units or one, then we have two, four, eight and 16. Okay, so multiplies by two every time. Remember that this is um, base two. So decimal number system is base 10. We have the digits zero to nine, 10 digits. And the binary number system is base two. We only have two digits, zero and one. So on the right hand side of the binary point, we have one over two, one over four, one over eight, one over 16, one over 32, and it can keep going. But um, in this example, we just have um, five um, numbers on each side of the binary point. Okay, so um, with this number here, we have a binary number and it's basically written as one unit plus um, one over two or half plus a quarter plus one over 16 plus one over 32. So with fixed point representation, we use a fixed number of bits for the fractional part of the number. So um, a fixed number of bits after the binary point, but it doesn't work very, very well with um, really large or really small numbers. So that's where we use the floating point method instead. So like 32 bit um, floating point, a single, single precision flo floating point, or uh, 64 bit double precision floating point instead. So we can use that when we're working with really large and small numbers and that's covered in another video. Okay, so I'll have a look at an example here. We've got a binary number um, which is 1.11011 and basically um, we can write 1.11011 as 1 plus half plus a quarter plus uh, 0 over 8 plus 1 over 16 plus 1 over 32. Okay, and in other words, we can add one plus 0 0.5, so half is 0 0.5, um, plus 0 0.25, so that's a quarter, plus 0 0.0625, which is 1 16th, plus 0 0.03125, which is 1 over 32. So that's how we can um, basically write that. We can add those up and we get a result of 1.84375. So using fixed point representation, we can take a binary um, number like 1.11011 and in decimal format, that's 1.84375. Okay, so now we can convert, we can do it the other way around, we can convert a decimal number to fixed point binary. So if we take a number, just an easy number like 7.75, and we convert that to fixed point binary, and we say that we're using four bits after the binary point, basically we can have a look at these columns. So I've just got three column, oh, sorry, four columns on the left. I've got um, units two, four, and eight, and then four on the right, so four bits after the binary point. So um, half or 0 0.5, quarter or 0 0.25, and then one over eight and one over 16. Okay, one over 16, sorry. So we can look at this. So we'll look at the um, the left side first. So we've got 7.75. So we'll look on the left side of the binary point. 
or decimal place. So we've got seven. All right. So um, we can ask, uh, does, we can start right over in the left hand column. We can ask, does eight go into seven? Um, no, it doesn't. So then we can ask, does four go into seven? Yes, it does. So we can put a one there, zero under the eight, one under the four. So um, seven minus four is three. So we're left with three. And then so we can ask, does two go into three? It does. So we put a one there. All right. So three take away two is one. And then so we've got the units left, which is one. So we asked, does one go into one? Yes, it does. So we put a one there. So, so far we've got zero, one, 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 or one, one, one point. And then we're going to work out the um, what's on the right hand side after the binary point. So the fraction part. Okay, so we've got 0.75 now. So we can ask, um, you know, can we take away um, 0.5 from 0.75? Yes, we can. So we'll put a one under half, or in other words, um, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. We'll put a one there and we'll take that away from 0.75. So we're left with 0.25. Okay, and we can ask, does 0.25, which is a quarter, does that go into, or can we take that away from um, 0.25? Yes, we can. So we'll put a one there and then we're left with zero. So there's nothing left. So we've already worked it out. So we can just put zero under the one over eight and zero under the one over 16 column. So we've got 0, 1, 1, 1. 1100, all right? Therefore, sorry about that little typo there, should be an E after therefore, but therefore 7.75 is 111.110 in binary fixed point representation using four bits um, for the, um, de uh, the fraction part. Okay, and that's it. That's um, basically how to represent um, decimal numbers in fixed point binary. And uh, we looked at how to get um, a binary fixed point number back into decimal format. That's basically it. So with fixed point representation, just to sum this up, we use a fixed number of bits for the fractional part of the number. So fixed number of bits uh, after the binary point. Uh, but the downside is that we can't really represent very large, very small numbers using the fixed point scheme. So we can use floating point representation instead for very large and very small numbers. And I recommend watching the video on 16 bit um, floating point or single precision floating point representation to see how that works. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.